The Terminator. Terminators can be destroyed. Your maker has failed you. Round one. Fight! Get over here! Final round, fight! The Terminator wins. Perhaps technology is superior to magic. Magic is an artificial construct. You're not from around here, are you? Round one. Fight!
Get over here! Finish him! Fatality! The Terminator wins! This will be a gun battle. One that you can't win. Big, but dumb as dirt. Round one. Fight! Reach for the sky. Get over here! Ineffective defense. Round two. Fight! <laughs> Final round, fight! <laughs> Terminator wins. My hellfire will incinerate your flesh. I will not cease functioning. It will also melt your endoskeleton. Round one. Fight!
Round two, fight. Terminator wins. Round one. Fight! It was an epic accident that brought the Terminator here, rather than to his own Earth's past. But it didn't take long for him to adapt. He figured that terminating Kronika and taking her hourglass gave him the best chance at achieving his mission objective. Destroying humanity so that the machines prevail. Turns out the hourglass wasn't the ultimate weapon. No matter how many times the Terminator rebooted history, the war between humans and the machines always ended the same, with their mutual destruction. 
He realized this war was a losing game. The only way to win was not to play. So the Terminator used the Hourglass to build a future where machines and humans don't fight. They cooperate. The Terminator knew that to preserve this future, no one else could learn about the Hourglass. The information stored in his machine mind was dangerous. It had to be eliminated. That's why the Terminator threw himself into the infinite depths of the Sea of Blood. No one would ever find him, or unlock the Hourglass's secrets. If you could ask him about it, he'd tell you he made the only logical choice. But in my book, that machine's a hero.